how to make money as a Web3 developer or security researcher without landing a job. Hey guys, it's Johnny Time and today I'm going to show you a very cool platform that can allow you to make money from your laptop at home without landing a job, without going through tedious interviews. You can just make money in crypto, in stable coins, or even in US dollars. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before I dive into the platform, I wanna dive into the story of Free Coben, which is 22 years old, engineer and a builder so he's a web3 builder right that's what he does and he's very young and this guy made in this platform eighty one thousand dollars now i don't know if he has a job if it's just a side thing that he's doing or he's doing it full-time job but this is pretty impressive and this is all uh, thanks to this platform called only dust and the cool idea about only dust is that it's essentially allowing you to contribute to open source projects and then get rewarded in real us dollars now if you're in the web3 ecosystem for a while you know that we are all about open source and contributions and also people who contribute to open source projects sometimes get rewarded with airdrops and grants and stuff like that i for example got some zk sync zk token grants because my github account contributed to some web3 repository i don't remember i think i got another grant but that's the whole thing about web3 it's the open community it's open source and you can literally contribute to work from home prove your skills and get paid without getting a job which is amazing so this is the only dust platform and now if we go here to the projects page you can see all kinds of projects that are currently available in this platform and then you can it's just open source github repositories where you can just go dive into a project that is interesting for you start solving issues pushing pr pushing new code pushing uh, uh, features fixing bugs and literally get paid now you can just go blindly pick something and start contributing or you can filter here with issues available and this lists all the repositories and all the projects that have open issues available and you can apply in order to fix those issues or implement those features so for instance if i go to the first one which is starknet quest it has some issues available i can see like how many contributors what is the ecosystem and what are the languages that are required in order to contribute to this project this one is javascript rust and typescript now you can also filter by ecosystems here you can see all the ecosystems that are available or you can filter by programming languages if there are some programming languages that you are more comfortable with or less comfortable with now bear in mind that most of the opportunities in this platform are available for people who know Cairo or want to contribute to the Starknet ecosystem. Now Starknet is a layer two on top of Ethereum and mostly in order to contribute to such projects, you need to be familiar with a programming language that's called Cairo. Now it's not a must, you have other projects, but this is just from my experience, the majority of the projects here are Cairo. And if you don't know Cairo and you wanna get started, feel free to check out our Cairo hacking and and development course uh, which comes with so much high value content with exercises a lot of chapters and hands-on exercises two parts part one is Cairo crash course where we're going to teach you Cairo from scratch and part two is Cairo hacking where we're going to teach you how to hack Cairo smart contracts and the cool thing about it is it's not only opening opportunities for only dust but it's also gives you an edge and advantage on other developers and security researchers out there because you have more skills that are more in demand and less in supply there are not that many Cairo developers or security researchers so check it out if you want this course uh, well, let's say you want to contribute to the StarkNet Quest project, and you can see here all the open issues. So here they describe the issues, move get quest users, edit get quest user, yada, yada, yada. And you can apply here to complete this issue. There is only one applicant, so it's not that competitive. If you know stuff, if you know some Rust, you can just apply. And of course, you will fix it and eventually get rewarded 
with some kind of monetary value. Now, what if you don't know to code? There are also other projects like, for example, the Cairo book, which literally means contributing to the documentation of the Cairo language. So if you learn Cairo, you can definitely contribute to this one. And it's just, you know, just a huge book with all the language details, like how to do if statements in Cairo, how to define storage in StarkNet smart contracts, and so on. And just for instance, if you want to go to a project and see how much money they paid for contributors, you can just go to the contributors tab. And this is actually insane. This is how much money people made by contributing open source without getting a job, without going through interviews, just contributing to a book. So this guy made 50K in, you can see what kind of tokens and USD or whatever he got just for contributing to this book. This guy made 23K, 4K, 3.5K, 2.9K, and, and so on. So people make money literally by writing a book. This is insane. Now, if you don't know what Cairo is talking about, you can just go to the ecosystem tabs and you can explore projects in StarkNet, Ethereum, Optimism, Aztec Network, which is a cool privacy network using ZK uh, technology, zero, zero knowledge proofs. Uh, you also have the hackathons page. So you have different hackathons listed, which you can participate in and maybe get rewards. And the cool things about this Onidast and hackathons and contributing to open source projects is not that only, not that also you make money while doing it and gaining skills and practicing your skills, your existing development skills, your building skills, your hacking skills, but you also enhance your CV because when you come and apply for a job, you can say, I'm not just a guy who did YouTube tutorials. No, I took a course, for example, the Cairo course. I have a certificate. I also contributed to some open source projects. I participated in hackathons. I contributed to the StarkNet Quest project or to the StarkNet Cairo book project. And this is way more impressive and going to put you on top of the competition when it comes to applying and getting a job. Definitely check out the onlydust.com website. Check out the Cairo hacking course. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. And if you want more high quality content about web tree building and security, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like the video. And if you want more high quality web tree educational content, subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.